Back Like We Never Left BDA and One Punch Man is funny. Okay, we know that. And the story is progressing, if you want to say that, because now Saitama and these cyborgs, they, they're after him, and now we know why. First, it starts off with the gorilla, okay? And the gorilla is narrating this whole story of this scientist, this mad scientist that never got recognized by his peers. So now he's out to destroy humanity, right? Cliche, we know what. <laughs> This guy's out to destroy humanity. He's done this for 70 years. Then he, he finally gets some results. He then finds a way to unlock the Fountain of Youth, which they didn't really touch hard, but this guy, he regains his youth and he creates clones, right? So this whole time, he's developing these cyborgs to oppose humanity. He feels that evolution is more of artificial intelligence than to worry about human evolution. So that's his story and he's sticking to it. Saitama cuts him off. He's like, yo, this is too long. Get to the point. What, what, what do you want with me? He's just like, well, you've broken the barriers of humanity and strength, so he wants to do some tests on you to see exactly how he can break those barriers as well. Jenna says that, yo, if we don't take care of this guy now, he's probably going to cause problems in the future. So then Saitama starts walking. He's like, oh, we're going to go right now? He's like, yeah, there's a sale on Saturday and I don't want to miss it. We're introduced to Carnage Kabuto. That's the strongest cyborg he has and this garbage Kabuto is destroying clones and all this stuff that the original goes to him and basically he's saying yo I need your help to destroy this guy and you know once you destroy this guy we'll be all good. Carnage Kabuto blitzes these guys. He turns Genos in the words of Saitama into a modern work of art okay he just slammed against the wall and then Saitama's like yo let's let's, let's go fight okay let's do this. So they're about to fight Genos comes back he gets owned again and then <laughs> this locust thing Carnage Kabuto, he, he's about to hit Saitama, the first time he's like, yo, this guy is super powerful. And this was the funny part because Saitama goes into his regiment and he's saying 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, a mile a day, and I'm like, that's pretty average, okay? Some people do that on a daily basis more and they don't develop superhuman strength, one punch to be super speed, that's not... A ha that doesn't happen, okay? And then Genos kind of has the same thing. He's like, yo, are you bullshitting? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, I didn't come here for jokes. I came here to learn from you. Like, that's not even above average regimen. What are you saying? Like, I just said 100 squats. That doesn't even make sense. He's like, yo, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but that, that's all I did. And then Carnage, Carnage Kabuto kind of gets amped up. And he's like, oh, that's all you did? This guy's probably not this strong, maybe I'm tripping. He goes into carnage mode, okay? Basically, he digivolves into carnage mode, and then he goes at Saitama. And at first, he's whooping Saitama, man. He's giving him business, and like, yo, what's going on? Saitama's like, oh my gosh, I miscalculated. I, I, I definitely miscalculated this sale. And then he rips through him, and he's like, the sale is today, not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna miss myself for this bullshit. Of course, he one punches this guy. And then Geno says, you know, we can still make it. It's four hours away, but if we hurry, we can still make it, okay? So, <laughs> so Thomas like, okay, okay, we can make it. So then they leave, and then it ends there. One Punch Man is a show that makes fun of other shows as far as the, the premise of the story. This guy is already super powerful, and at this point, we're looking at a superhero who's basically bored. Everything he does is to keep him occupied. This, this guy is super powerful. And the this guy is super powerful, and people are saying, is he stronger than Goku? And I, I don't know. Uh, he, he defeats everybody in one punch, so what stops him from defeating Goku in one punch? I don't know. I'm not going to get into that argument. We don't know enough about, about Saitama already. Again, this show is funny. It has its quirks. I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's different. That's why I enjoy it so much, because it's not this, the regular superhero show, okay? It's just this guy who's super powerful already, so what next? That's basically what we're asking ourselves, what next with this guy? So that was it though, I enjoyed it. I mean, let me know what you thought about it. Do you think Genos is overrated? I think Genos' uh, design is great, but how he gets owned by all these characters, I'm like, yo, dude, you need to power up seriously. And I don't, I don't think you're gonna, you're gonna get that from squats, sit-ups, and push-ups. So we gotta figure out a way. But yeah, like the video if you did, guys. Comment, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day, people.